So this video has to do with a very controlled attack. So let's just take an example of one of these. Let's see, drop kick. Do we... Let's look at drop kick. So he has actually, I think about 2000 power, which is pretty significant, uh, especially below level 100. And here's his base, right? So I actually choose to drop a berserker and draw over his enchantress because enchantress combined with great sage is a very dangerous combo. Notice he also has a landslide. So I only drop two heroes. So you see his uh, um, Enchantress used her Divine Skill, and I'm not really losing any health. Um, since I pushed my Landslide and he has that Purple Heart, uh, it's almost to orange. I just need, I think, 60 more uh, Heart Shards, and then I'll have an orange heart. I'm really excited for that. But you see here, I mean, they're not doing anything to these guys. And Ambrosia can heal. That's why I chose to drop Ambrosia. And you have to choose a, a ranged hero, obviously, to hit the Enchantress. But the idea with Enchantress is, uh, you know, and notice this is a whole minute in, they're just sitting here. They're chilling, I'm not rushing anything. Because once you get their heroes down, most bases, especially under level 100, even level 120, uh, you can plow through fairly quickly. So they're still down there. Now watch what I do over here, watch this. So they're finally free. I drop Enchantress and she's a flying hero. She's the third hero I drop, so Landslide comes rushing over. But Landslide can't do anything because he can only attack melee, so he just goes back to his base. And notice, I drag him over so he doesn't, if he got back to his base, he can come over and stomp me. But I pull everyone here, uh, go ahead and do the attack, uh, I'll just go ahead and forward, dot dot dot, etc. Berserker, skills, uh, I think his Chiron actually gets off his uh, Divine, which is really annoying uh, for me. Looks like he does. Yeah, he does. And so he heals. And so that's a whole bunch of extra damage but, that I need to go through. But the nice thing about Chiron is that if you have a Tome, you actually can get to 100 Rage really easily. Um, watch how quickly his uh, Great Sage dies. Let me slow this down so it's in real time. Otherwise, you'd miss it. So this is his last respawn. Let's go. Boom. 100% increased damage. Ambrosia Rage skill and then slaughtered. He, he, <laughs> he died so quick. Uh, because I increased this damage by 100%, increased my team damage by 28%, um, and by that time he was basically dead. Uh, Great Sage's spear he threw didn't even get a chance to come and hit his Great Sage. So there you have it. This was my strategy against. I mean, he's a, he's a good he's a good he has a good base, you know, drop kick. These are these are not trivial heroes, but that's just one strategy of how I'm attacking these days. You see the damage here, uh, Berserker, two million. Uh, in, uh, in, what's her name, Ambrosia, similar than the other guys, you know, they're just, the purpose of these three and my team is really for uh, control, sorry, the video's a little bit uh, off there, I want to be able to control them better, and then these two would do a little bit more damage, usually it's Berserker, but that's my, uh, my general strategy here, I'll just show you one other attack real quick, not this one, this guy, uh, his, his Kyra, Oh, I despise this guy, especially at lower levels, you know. At, at higher levels, he's not that big of a deal. Let's just, I do a similar type of attack. Let, I'm just going to fast forward it here. It's going to lag a little bit on my iPad. Dot, dot, dot. You know, we get up going. His Chiron gets off his skill and his Divine, and it's just, uh, it's just a mess, you know. Um, he does his skill twice, and look at this. Look at his Chiron. You can't even see it because I, I, I turned the camera, but, you know, he... He did 2.37 million damage and took 1.6 million damage. It's just ridiculous, you know. So my poor Berserker, he does 2 million damage, but he doesn't kill anything. And so you definitely have to be strategic uh, with my current team when you're dealing with uh, Chirons and stuff. If I use Winds, I could maybe burst that down a little bit better. But, I mean, you see this guy invested in his Chiron. He's level 193. And that's not a bad strategy, you know, to invest in this hero. Uh, later on... It'll become a bit easier to stomp them and destroy them very quickly, but early on the game, that's not a bad investment uh, for anyone to go into. But just uh, another quick attack. Let's see. I did drop kick. Here's D D money, D money. Another another good player here. So got the Ambrosia, uh, Great Sage, Chiron, Pangoli. I do a similar type of attack where I um, drop my Enchantress up here. You see, his landslide actually comes right over because the landslide senses these guys attacking. Then you have, you know, it's pretty easy to stomp initially. Because it's easy to burst through heroes if that landslide doesn't teleport over. If he, if he does teleport over, it can be quite a bit tougher. And then here's what happens to Ambrosia. She gets uh, slaughtered by Berserker. Um, you see just Critter for 80k, uh, instantly putting her into the Pangoli aid section. And then she was dead shortly after. 
So anyways, uh, that was that attack. Uh, just some strategy using these new heroes. Hope you learned something and liked it. And uh, good luck. Look at this damage. He just... He's the all-star of my team right now. Berserkers at uh, 1.4 million damage. They're done, and and no one on their team really did any damage at all. Not even their Chiron did 130,000. That's nothing. It's like five attacks, and he was dead. So uh, that's what I'm talking about in terms of controlling fights. You know, you want to be very strategic about it, and and dealing with pesky heroes. There is a right and a wrong way to do it, and so you know, practice, and you'll get better at it. And um, there you have it. Good luck.